just the way the offense was uh, Very frustrating. We made a ton of mistakes and uh, didn't help the defense out at all. They, they played their tails off and uh, we just put them in bad spots throughout the whole game. And uh, just uh, We'll learn from it, but it was definitely tough. As far as the holding calls left, I didn't get one, but I think you all as a group had six. How do you kind of explain that? Um, I don't know, just playing sloppy is really the only thing uh, I can say. I, uh, I'm not going to say anything, blame the refs or anything. We definitely were holding and uh, they made the right calls. When you, is that one of those where you come in today and kind of go, oh, I really don't want to watch this one on film? Or? Yeah, uh, we kind of came in with our tails between our legs as players because we know we played so bad. And, uh, but, you know, the coaches were, were positive about it, and uh, we're just looking forward to Florida now. When you have a game like that where you have some drops and, you know, the offense as a, as a whole just doesn't execute and things happen, how do you – is it kind of you can't wait to get back on the, on the field to try to get, get that out of your mind and get ready for the next one? Yeah, it's – I mean, we're definitely looking to uh, get back to get back against Florida and uh, try to do things right again, but uh, just – with the drop balls, it just goes back to mental focus. And uh, uh, Emory is out, and we needed people to step up, and uh, we we didn't have anyone step up. So uh, we just we got to get back to fundamentals and uh, doing what what we were taught to do. But you guys have had you've had the ball a whole lot in the last two games, more than any other times this season. But but you haven't scored as much as other times this season. Is, can you put your finger on on what, how that would be? Uh, just making mental mistakes when we get into the end zone. Uh, Turnovers. I think we had two turnovers inside the red zone yesterday, and uh, that, that's definitely not going to win games in the SEC, especially in the SEC West. So I uh, just got to protect the football and cash in on our opportunities, even if it's just a field goal. We need to get put points on the board. What do you say to Kyle? I know I know you've talked to him a lot. What do you say to Kyle about bouncing back from what happened to him? Uh, I just told him, you know, he's going to have a long, good four-year career here, and uh, sometimes things start off shaky, but uh, he'll, he'll bounce back. He's a, he's a great kid, great athlete, and. Uh, I know he's down a little bit, uh, throwing those two interceptions, but uh, a couple of them were just uh, bad reads and uh, bad routes by the receivers. So uh, it wasn't entirely his fault, and uh, I think he'll he, he's fine though. On that one on the wheel route, did you see that safety come across? Did anybody see him? It just looked like you you had the ball and you were you know run for a touchdown. Yeah, I thought I didn't see the safety at all, and um, uh, Kyle kind of put it where he thought only I could catch it, and that safety just made a great read from the get go, and. Uh, we had a, I think we had a post going deep, and the safety just bit the wheel route. So, uh, just, just good play by safety. The rotation of quarterback as, as a player, a skill guy, is that, is that hard to get used to, or is it because it's, it's kind of so defined? Does it make it a little bit easier to, to kind of play with the quarterback? Uh, I mean, I, I haven't really noticed it much. Um, I know they're trying to get uh, Kyle in there because he can, he can do a lot of things with his legs uh, that Barrett can't do as well, and. At the same time, Barrett uh, is better with the offense and throwing the ball than Kyle is right now. So, uh, I mean, I, like I said, I don't really notice it. I just kind of know what I'm supposed to do on my play and uh, just hope the quarterback delivers the ball. You know, somebody didn't watch the game and see 38-14 and think, wow, that was pretty lopsided. But did you guys feel like you were in the game until the very end? Yeah, we felt like we were in the game until uh, that fourth quarter got a little bit shaky. And uh, it was 21-14 20, to 14 and I think 28-14 with seven minutes left in the third quarter. So, uh, and then that's when we had a couple uh, turnovers and they took it and just had great field position on our defense. So the offense is 100% to blame on that. And uh, yeah, we, we, we fought hard, but we just ended up shooting ourselves in the foot too much and uh, penalties and turnovers cost us again. How big is this game now to, against Florida Saturday? Um, it, it's big. It's one that we've kind of been looking forward to for the past year since we knew we were playing them. Um, Florida and Auburn's always been pretty close games and uh, just great endings all around the past couple of years. So we're excited to get uh, back after them and I'm sure they're feeling the same way about us. Nice to, to be back at home too. How, how tough is a couple of weeks in a row to be on the road like you guys have been? Uh, it, it's a grind. You forget how much of a grind it is. Uh, last year we had a great home schedule and uh, this year's been a little bit more tough, but uh, we, we really can't blame the away games for, lot, for our losses. Uh, We've been in the game, like I said, for the past couple, uh, for the first three quarters, and then just ended up shooting ourselves in the foot. But uh, it'll be good to play at Jordan here again. I think you hurdle a man. Uh, one of those plays, I got called back, but still, you hurdle him. Uh, could you kind of see that coming, like setting up? 
Yeah, I'd, I've been blocking that corner uh, for the first quarter for the most part, and uh, he was, I, I knew I had a little bit out leverage on him, so I figured he'd probably try to cut tackle me, and uh, sure enough he did, and I just tried to go over. Anything else? Appreciate it. Yeah.